Hey guys, what's up? It's Mega Marcus 96. I have our number two small firearm, and this is the 44 Magnum pistol. Um, this is a revolver that has been featured in quite a few Call of Duty games. It's been seen as the 44 Magnum, 357 Magnum, the Python. Uh, you know, there's always a revolver of some sorts in a game in Call of Duty. This famous six shooter has a cylinder in the back that you have your six cartridges inserted in. Um, this one in particular is the 44 Magnum cartridge. And the barrel on this one works. You know, there's a hole through it, and when you fire it in the back, you pull the trigger and it releases the hammer, and psh, off goes the bullet. <clears throat> and the hammer on this one works like you pull it back and forward. And then you have a small trigger up front. So you can have uh, either single action or double action on a revolver. Single action is where you manually pull back the hammer and then pull the trigger. Then there's double action, which means you pull back the trigger halfway and then it locks this, but then you keep pulling back and then it eventually fires and releases, releases the hammer. But that adds a lot of tension in your trigger finger and can be very tiring after a while. So I, rec I would recommend single action. And what I just did there was incorrect. When you're shooting with a pistol, you'd want to use your left hand or your non-dominant hand to uh, pull back the hammer. Because if you do it with your dominant hand, you <clears throat> mess up your grip on the pistol. Then you'd have to reset and get comfortable again. Even if you think you wouldn't mess it up, you would. It just, you know, it's a lot better to to your stance and stuff. So yeah, that, that's the end of this uh, little short video. I will set this pistol down and get an overall look at it. Shortly after this one should be the third and final small firearms um, pistol. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think of this pistol and if I should do something like this again, you know, like a little burst of videos of small different firearms because my maximum I can pretty much build is about three different firearms out of the amount of Legos I have currently. So yeah, let me know what you think and if any ideas you want me to build next. Uh, so yeah, have a good day.